Greetings programs and welcome fellow meanies. Your buddy Dime here again, this time to show you how to set up ADW Launcher EX so that it screams along as fast as your mind can think. Right now what we're looking at is the basic ADW EX home screen just as it comes when you install it from the Play Store. And uh, what we're going to do now is completely demolish it and start from scratch. So just go ahead and follow along. We're going with menu, more, ADW settings. We want to go to UI settings, icons, and highlight press color. Make that completely transparent. And your new icon settings, icons label color. Again, completely transparent. We'll back out of there. Your main dock. Disable that. Screen preferences. Your desktop columns leave the same, but your desktop rows should be six. We want six, four columns, six rows. No desktop indicator. Trust me, you won't need it. Home orientation, keep as portrait. And overlap the widgets. Into advanced settings, let's auto stretch and auto close. Back out of there into your drawer settings app drawer style should be vertical 4d you want full screen leave the columns and rows alone your background color should be full transparent fade to black should be enabled snap scroll disabled now into the folders we want to go ahead and leave those just as they are so we'll go in here into general behavior animation and effects turn off infinite scroll Screen transition effects should be normal scroll. Desktop scrolling speed should be zero. Bounce should also be zero. No wallpaper scrolling. No sense previews. Animated drawer is fine. Animated icons. Desktop zoom is good. And the zoom effect speed, I like to set it right at 500. Half a second. Let's see how quick I can get there. Come on, big fingers. There we go. All right. So now back out of there into gestures. We want drawer swiping. Home button binding should be moved to default desktop. Swipe down actions should be show the notifications just like they are. Swipe up actions should be show previews. Now into system preferences. I don't use the ADW notifier since it doesn't work with Gmail still. So we'll go ahead and disable that. Everything else looks good. The opening transition, let's keep that default, Android managed. And that takes care of all of those. Let's go into the themes preferences. Go ahead and apply the ice cream sandwich theme. Not the wallpaper though, because I like the one that I choose. Let's see here. So that now has you at a four by six desktop. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and clear that out. Now you can either drag and drop all the icons off of the screen or just delete the screens and re-add them. For tutorial purposes, I'm going with the easy way to drag and drop the screens. All the screens are blank, you can see. So now, <coughs> pardon me, what we're going to do is we're going to add a button for your app drawer. And another little button I like to add that shows and hides your status bar. So you can go covert style. And also we're going to add shortcuts to screen one, screen two. Don't need a shortcut to screen three because that's our home screen. We just got to press the home button. So there's already a shortcut for that. Screen four and finally screen five. And I like to arrange them like so, but you're free to arrange them however you want. Alright, so now we've got all our screens. Let's go over here to screen one. And again, we'll set up an app drawer. And our secondary button on this one is going to be move to default desktop. So that you can just pop right back. And then go to screen two, do the same thing. And just pop them down to the bottom. Now again, these are just suggested placements. You can put them anywhere you like. 
this is just what I've found to be the quickest, most efficient way for me personally. If you like it, feel free to use it. If not, feel free to suit it to your own needs. So we'll go back, screen four. I've already done screen four. Gosh, I'm faster than I thought. All right, now we'll do the final screen. And move those down there, move those down there, and that's your basic setup. You can see how quick and easy it is to switch back and forth between screens. So now we've got it set up. Now we need to make it look good. Let's go ahead and turn this into a more recognizable button. Let's go ahead and delete the text, change the icon, and we'll go ahead and go with the dimmer version. All right, this one we're going to go ahead and erase completely. We're going to do that by using the simple text icon creator. Now I've already created a template for a blank icon. It's easy enough to do. Just clear out the space up in there and then hit save style. But I'm going to go ahead and save this icon since I just want to make it blank and hidden. And now what I always do is my first screen, I make it the location screen. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering, why not just type in the location name? Well, I tried that, and frankly, it looks like doo-doo. So what we do is we use the simple text icon creator to make us nice themed icons for them. Now we'll head over here and again make these invisible buttons. But no worries, we're going to make them nice and easy to find when you need them in just a moment here. As soon as we make them invisible. So let's go ahead and clear out the title. And make it a blank icon again. There we go, nothing. Now we want to add a widget. Simple text, two by one, select action, none, select icon, simple text icon. And again, this is a preset that I've made with my own font and the way that I like it. Feel free to make it however you choose. Start with one of the basic ones and just change it to what you like. But make sure you stick with a one line because, frankly, that looks the cleanest in my eyes. But to each their own. Anyways, once you've got it set up, go ahead and save your icon, save your widget two by one, drag it down here, and you'll notice you can't pull it all the way down to the bottom, but what you can do is long press, edit, and overlap it. Now, we've got our app drawer and our return to home screen. So back and forth. And you can see it still gives you the little visual cues as to what screen you're on. But that's basically the long and skinny of it. Now that you know how to set them up you can set your screens up however you like and it's literally just instantaneous back and forth as fast as you want to go it's just a joy to browse through um, one thing that I like to do here on the home screen is I will take my Gmail I will take messages people where's my internet there we go internet actually people is supposed to go over here and then phone down in here we'll rename the folders real quick that one's gonna be naturally phone this one's gonna be web There we go, and that's basically the start of your beautiful setup. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments, but we hope you've enjoyed following along, and now you're just going to have to figure out what to do with all the extra time that you're going to have from not having to wait to navigate your darn device. Until next time, y'all stay cool.